Browsing images on Automatic 11.11 could be a pain in the butt, but today I want to show you an extension that's going to help with that. There are two image browsing extensions that you can use. One of them is called Infinite Image Browsing, and the other one is simply called Image Browser. This is the one that I like to use. I'm going to show you this one first. And it's pretty simple to use. It's got a grid layout here where you can click on the image. You'll see below we also have the film strip style gallery here where you can just select an image. You can use your arrow keys to go left and right. And it's pretty straightforward. You can go to the next page. You can rank your images. Let's say I rank this number one. There's various options to sort as well. And you could even type in like keywords. So let's say I type in car. It's going to find all the cars in my output folder. If you end up ranking your images, let's say I click on number one. I've only got three ranked here. It'll bring up all the images that I've ranked. One of the things I like about this too, let's say I click on this image. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see that it's got all the information, my prompt, my negative prompt, where the file's located. Let's say I wanted to redo this image. I could send it to text to image, image to image, in painting, control net, whatever the case might be. If I click on send to text to image, it'll load up the prompt, negative prompt, and all the settings that I did. Then I can go ahead and generate the same image or variations of it. I find this very useful to have to browse through my images. It prevents you from going manually to your output folder and trying to find stuff that way. And you'll also notice that you have tabs here at the top where if you're doing any image to image, It'll also show you your folders with those images you have here. I was doing some character turnarounds, some Game of Thrones stuff. And then it also shows you all your image grids that you've been working on. Extras are all your upscaled images. So if I click on this one, this was an upscaled image that I was kind of messing around with. Now there is another browser called the Infinite Image Browser, and it's somewhat similar. This first section here is called Walk Mode. So if I click on it here, it also works in a grid view, but it takes up your whole desktop here. And then you have some options up here. You can go to image to image here or go to my extras. And it works the same way. Let's say I clicked on this image. All your information is here, your prompts, your negative prompts, all the settings that you've used. You hover over this and then you have the same options. Send to text to image, image to image. You can download it, open it in a new window. There's quite a few things you can do with this. And basically you'll just keep scrolling and scrolling to all the images that you've done. This section here will basically call up your folders. So I can open up this folder here and it'll basically <laughs> do the same thing. Now to install this is super simple, similar to how we installed ControlNet. All you have to do is go to your extensions tab here, go to available, click load from, and then type in browser. Now mine's already installed, but I'm going to uncheck installed. And you'll see the two extensions here, infinite image browser. That's the second one we looked at. And then image browser. This is the one that I prefer. And you simply have to click on install and then go back to the installed section here. Click on apply and restart. I normally shut down everything and restart automatic 11.11. And then once you're done, you should be able to go into the image browser. Now, word of warning, sometimes you have to click this button to get the images to show up. I don't know if that's by design or a little glitch, but hey, it only takes a second for it to populate. And if there's any other extensions that you find useful, let me know in the comments as well. Until next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.